encephalocele encephalocele is a birth defect in which there is a sac like protrusion or projection of the brain and the membranes that cover it which then opens up through the skull it is one of the type of neural tube defect in the embryo the part that will later form into the brain spinal cord and the bone surrounding it is called as the neural tube this neural tube forms and closes by 28 days from conception now sometimes this neural tube does not close completely during pregnancy resulting in an opening in the skull this allows the part of the brain to protrude into that space thus forming a sac like protrusion which can be easily visualized on birth of the baby 70% of the time this protrusion or sac is present in the occipital region other common sites include the frontal encephalocele the parietal encephalocele sinciput encephalocele and the basal encephalocele the occipital encephalocele have the tendency to cause blindness in the baby along with other neurological problems the frontal encephalocele may cover the orbits now coming to the causes the exact cause of encephalocele is unknown but a lot of time it is believed that folic acid supplementation and vitamin b intake in the early pregnancy can somehow prevent the occurrence of this disorder thus a possible cause may be attributed to the deficiencies of this supplements encephalocele does have a genetic component to it meaning that people with family history of the disorder may have a pregnancy with a baby suffering from encephalocele or other such disorders of the neural tube now a common question that comes to the mind is can alcohol consumption and smoking during pregnancy cause encephalocele the answer is maybe or maybe not alcohol and smoking are both well known teratogens but studies on its association with encephalocele have shown mixed results thus not establishing a relationship completely but both should be avoided at any cost during pregnancy to avoid other birth defects in the baby coming to the clinical manifestations encephalocele are easily seen on birth of the baby they are usually accompanied by the craniofacial abnormalities the baby may suffer from various neurological problems due to the protrusion of the brain tissues itself depending on the site of herniation and the part of the brain that is herniated sometimes the encephalocele is accompanied by hydrocephalus which is a condition in which the cerebrospinal fluid accumulates in the brain or in this protruding sac and creates unnecessary pressure onto the herniated tissues as well as the brain altogether the baby may suffer from spastic quadriplegia that is paralysis of the limbs since a part of the brain herniates the overall size of the head is smaller in this baby called as microcephaly the baby may suffer from uncoordinated muscle movements called as ataxia the baby's development will progress slowly based on the grade of encephalocele and there might be mental and growth retardation seizure disorders are also very common in this babies Now coming to the diagnostic test ultrasonography during pregnancy can show a solid cystic mass herniating thus indicating encephalocele as early as 13 weeks the magnetic resonance imaging may be done prenatally or postnatally though prenatal mri is avoided as it requires fetal sedation The MRI imaging is the best imaging modality prior to the surgery to find out the contents of the encephalocele. It helps in grading the encephalocele and planning the surgery. 
The computed tomography scan is done to detect the abnormalities of the skull bone and the presence of hydrocephalus. Encephalocele is always treated with surgery to place the herniated parts of the brain back in its place. Based on the location and extent of encephalocele and comorbidities, the child may still have long-term neurological problems. Multiple surgeries might be required for the treatment of encephalocele.